the time has come. We can wait no longer for the great masters to return. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Sopan. Welcome aboard to Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of Sword of the Stars, where we are using the combined mod, which I have in the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out yourself. This mod um, gives graphical overhauls to the ships and weapons and planets and whatnot, and also expands the game's um, gameplay, so you have more research you can do. The AI have like a different... Um, have been I think the AI have been adjusting this mod. I'm not entirely sure. It might just be like research and uh, economy and all that stuff has been completely redone. Like for instance, we are 52 um, uh, 52 turns into the game and we haven't even gotten like better frigates yet. And part of that is also because I have research set to 50%. And this gives us more time to build larger fleets and not go through the research tree so quickly. So yeah, um, but I believe in the last episode we were starting to get a swarmer problem. Um, we were getting overwhelmed um, by uh, the little swarmer dudes because they're starting to take over most of the planets around us because they all have asteroids in them. So we were also researching cybernetic uh, interface which is something that we're going to need to help boost our production. And then we're going to have to focus primarily in the um, military tree. Probably need to research UV compounds uh, to get better um, lasers. And hopefully this will unlock beamers. That would be nice. Um, we could also do plasma cannons because sometimes plasma cannon can unlock on um, lightning too. But we need to start developing better military ships to fight off these swarmers because they're going to be a pain. If we don't get these under control and then allow us to expand more of our inventory or uh, territory plus we also need to see if we can become allies with anime waifu can we do that yet an alliance must benefit now sides try again when you have something to offer anime waifus don't like us enough okay good to know there's no reason to become your ally rude there's always a reason to befriend an anime waifu. But anyways, I don't think there's not much we can do this turn. We've explored this in the last episode, and it's nothing that we really need. So yeah, we have uh, one of our fleets going out to explore the next nearby planet. And I think we can try and start building a fleet. Uh, we do have a million um, dollars in our savings account right now, which we need to keep in order to keep our... Uh, um, main planet from really starting to uh, hate us. Right now they um, we're getting a, a negative one on our morale because we re reached the population limit but we're also gaining that negative one back because we have a million dollars or more in our savings. So we need to keep above a million dollars to keep people from like really wanting uh, uh, wanting to take over the planet. Because if we increase the civilian population to satisfy that need, they're going to start permanently harvesting the planet, and it's going to cause a whole lot of issues because infrastructure is going to drop, and income is going to drop, and it's not a fun, pleasant sight. Anyways, it's in our turn. Nothing really to do this turn. System update. All right, so we've got more exploring going. Um... Trying to figure out how big of a fleet are we going to need to fight um, off the swarmers. Now the problem is we can only use six ships at a time because we don't have the ability, we don't have the research to make a command ship to allow us to have more ships on the map. So it's kind of a limiting factor for us right now. Hmm. So... Oh, why can't I build a small laser? Oh, that's because this planet has all the uh, defenses on it. Right, right. How much do you cost to actually produce? We can build about five. Um, if we focus completely on construction to try to get those out as quickly as possible. We can build three at a time. So it's gonna take a few turns to get a small patrol fleet going. Okay. Shipyards at your disposal. 
Lacona. It's probably going to be what we're going to need to do. Now we could also start building a fleet on this planet, but we also have to make sure that we don't go below a million. Otherwise, people are going to start having problems on the main planet. Hmm. So much to think about. Ooh, and you're doing really good, too. Alright. Uh... What do we... Hang on. I gotta find that planet. You! What do you have going on? Like, how much does it cost to actually build something? You could build a patrol frigate next turn, so you do have a decent uh, um, industry going on. Okay. Build me a couple of small laser defense platforms. At least that gives something to fight back against the swarmers. Although we don't really have the weapon technology to really fight them. We need any, like point defense weapons. Yes, Bacona. We'll have the ships out in no time. You do have um um asteroids on your planet, so you eventually will be attacked by the swarmers because they only attack planets that have asteroids on them. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. Hopefully this research gets done soon. System update. Oh yeah, a new tanker. We'll go ahead and build you a new colonizer. We will build as you command, Valcona. Then... Do we have the money? There we go. Shipyards at your disposal, oh. Valcona. We totally forgot to check the rankings at the beginning of this episode. So, rankings. Um, right now we're doing great on income. We're plus two, or we're uh, number two on income. Six on colonies. We were doing good, and then we started getting attacked by the swarmers and lost some of our uh, military, or some of our economy. Blah, 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 blah. Some of our empire is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> But we suck on research. We have seven, two on population, three on output, and eight on ships. So we desperately need a larger military, and we need to get better um, on our technology. So because of that, uh, let's focus a little bit more on research. And we still have like nine turns until we get this current technology done that we're researching. This will desperately help us, too. Um, because it'll help boost our um, our industry output, which will allow us to create more um, uh, more of an economy and uh, get that going up a little bit more. But that being said, I don't think we actually have anything going on in this this episode or not episode. God dang, I cannot think right now. <laughs> My brain is just like all over the place. Um. What are you down here for? Oh, we're recolonizing this because that was a, a trap, I believe. New lands to conquer. More lands to conquer. We will move at full speed. And let's see, we're at a million. Uh, do, 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 do. One moment. There we go. Uh, my taskbar wasn't going away, so I couldn't see the bottom of the uh, the menu. So apologize about that. So I couldn't end my turn. Wasn't allowing me to. System update. All right. So now we got a new colony ship. Move it with you guys. Um. And how bad you are very bad. Never mind. Um, you guys go explore a new planet. Go down here. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. Let's see if we can find something else that to uh conquer. And we found Elora. It's a size one, a very tiny planet. Four thousand resources, prohibitive, and has asteroids on it, so nope, nope. The Armada moves as one. I do not want it. I do not want it at all. The swarmers can keep that planet for themselves. 
but let's go ahead and make sure that we keep this queued. Here we go, three more. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Now bring us up to seven. Once we get up to ten, uh, we'll build a tanker and move it to one of our planets. They'll need it, like this one up here. Although you do have defenses on you, because I'm building them. Here we go. We will build as you command, Valkona. We will build as you command, Valkona. How are we doing on income? We are at almost 300,000 altogether. That's also because we're building something on the main planet, so that's not bad. That would be probably be close to 400,000. I want to get this closer to a million. I feel a lot better if our planetary income is like $1 million. Right now we're still like in the very early stages and hopefully we're not too much longer. System update. All right, let's build three more. Yes, Bakona. We will have the ships out in no time. Right. Oh, and how are you doing? You need more um, infrastructure, actually. Oh, that's right, because the colony ship had more uh, um, more colonies with it because we had suspended animation. So I think we bought 250 colonists instead of like 50, like we normally do. Nice. Now, you can also speed this up more by building more colony ships and deploying them all at once. So if we had like four colony ships with suspended animation and deployed them, you would starve off a thousand uh, uh, population. So that is a, a workaround for the ones that take a really, really long time. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> That's a kind of a mechanic I don't really use too much myself, but I always forget about it, that it's there until I'm like mid-game. I'm like, oh yeah, I could have been doing this to help with some of those plants that take forever to uh, terraform. It is what it is. But anyways, we got more ships queued. We've got a new colony, which is nice. We are now back up to six. How many of these are in the negatives? Right now we have this guy, um, Zessi, in the negatives. Um, he's going to be really good, but he, he's actually starting to grow very quickly. So he's going to be a very good colony once he gets fully developed. Um, we got God Gentry, which is growing pretty well. Uh, let me make sure that... Oh, yeah, you, you don't need that anymore. Focus heavily on infrastructure. That'll be just fine. And then you are brand new, um, which we're focusing a little bit on infrastructure, and you are fully developed, which is nice. You're making 72,000. Nice, nice. All right, send our turn. Nothing really to do right now. System update. All right, um, we also have this guy out going all the way out here to like the edge of the map. <laughs> Oh, we get a colony there. That's going to be amazing. Now, need to build me more of these. We will build as you command, Valkona. And you move these guys out to... Oh, um, you need um, a tanker. I didn't realize I already built ten. Shipyards at your disposal, Valkona. And you... Build more defenses. Yes, Bakona. We'll have the ships out in no time. What other planets do we have that have asteroids on them? Because those are the ones I need to prioritize. Because they will be attacked by the swarmers. Um, This guy down here does. And you're basically developed. Well, no, you have 70,000 population. You are not developed. <laughs> You're getting there, though. How long would it take you to build one of those? 63 turns? Yeah, don't worry about that. Get yourself developed first. All right. So now we got starting to build a small defense force. Um, we have a very little of our income going to uh, maintenance. Every ship you build and every station you build in this game requires maintenance, and you have to pay it every single turn. Right now we pay a little bit over um, $9,000 uh, just to maintenance. 
as the ships get bigger, their maintenance requirement is higher and higher and higher. So this is kind of the game's way of making sure that you have a good economy before you start building like hundreds of ships for like gigantic armadas, which I love. I love the way this is implemented because it just goes up higher depending on the larger the ship. So I think uh, um, normal frigates are like like 500, I think, a piece. Um, the planetary defenses are like 100. And I think cruisers are like something... Like 2,500 maybe? Um, and I think Dreadnoughts are like 10,000. Like something like that. But it's a really cool mechanic and I kind of wish that um, other games used it. Because it's very simple, it's easy to figure out. And it scales with the game as we as our empire grows. Um, this doesn't have to be adjusted at all. Because you're going to have more ships the larger your empire is. Which means you're going to require more maintenance. So it's a really cool balance. I love it. There's a lot of like really cool financial things they've done in this game that I really, really love. Like if you don't pay attention to your finances, you can totally bankrupt yourself. And uh, that's kind of a big problem in Sword of Stars 2 where the AI don't really know how to manage their finances that well. So they end up bank bankrupting, bankrupting themselves and ends up, you know, not really being that fun because the AI can't do anything because they're like negative $2 million in the hole paying interest every single month and can't expand. So... It is definitely something that can happen in this game. But anyways, so we got those exploring. Yeah, I, I think we're going to start focusing on building up a military. And focusing heavily on research. That's probably what we're going to need. Um, is the anime waifus like still liking me? Okay, yeah, they are still going up. But I don't think our reputation is high enough for an alliance. An alliance must um. benefit both sides. Try again when you have something to offer. Our empires have no common goal. I mean, that is kind of true. We don't have anything we're fighting for right now. Okay. Uh, and if you're building a tanker. And yeah, that's about all we can do. We're in a little bit of a slow spot right now. System to try update. to build up our military. Uh, size 2, 2,000, 70,000 resource cost. Also, this is a level 1 colonizer ship. Hmm. Titus. Nice. <laughs> we found the land of Titus. Unfortunately, it's tiny. Nothing we can do about it. Oh, that's 70,000. That's a big chunk. A lot of our planets are being developed, though. So we should be able to cover it, no problem. Okay, let's do an experiment. We're going to keep those guys there. Um, this one has a lot of climate hazards, so if we put a lot of colony ships together, this should be better. So let's go with... Oh, wow, we don't actually don't have enough industry to, like, spam build these things yet. Hmm, okay. We're getting close, but we don't quite have enough. So let's go with two colony ships. Actually, can we build one? Yeah, let's just build two here. Let's just take two turns. Shipyards at your disposal, Bacona. If we build three... Okay, that'll all be done in two turns. Okay. Yes, Bacona. We'll have the ships out in no time. Oh, I forgot how expensive those are. It's fine, it's fine. We're investing in a big planet. Honestly, I'm doing an experiment right now. But we're investing in a different planet right now. We will move at full speed. This planet honestly really sucks. It's a size 2 of 2,000. I don't see the point of actually investing all that. I even know we're getting the point in the game where we just need planets so we can stay above the uh, um, what the enemy throws at us. Hmm. We, ooh, how good are you? You, uh, you're a lot better. Okay, so we'll grab this planet. I'm um, Gally. Hopefully, um, I don't think there's any uh, swarmers here yet. There might be. Hmm. This is gonna be an expensive experiment. Um, also you guys. Your word is law, Vakona. 
Move down. Nope, that's actually not. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. That is not the. Actually, you guys just move here. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. Let me know if anything's there. And then in the meantime. 799,000. It'll be fine. Like, we can go a couple turns in negatives, because it only, it'll only drop our morale by, like, one. We have 90, so it's perfectly fine. As long as it's, like, not 25 or something, we don't have to worry about any side effects of having low morale. Okay. Looking good. We're at 321,000. Our income is going up, which is nice, because most of the planets we captured are fully developed. Yep, you're going up pretty good. Um, let's see, yeah, you're going up really good. You're going up good. Like, every single thing looks like it's all doing good. Okay. How many more turns do we have until this is done? Four? Okay. That'll give us a good boost to our economy. System update. Okay. Good, good. Oh, we don't need the tanker. We already have one. Nice, that'll save us some money. So that should put us almost above a million next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure that does go above a million. There we go. And let's end our turn. We haven't had any combat yet so far this episode. System update. Ooh, yes, our research got done. Breakthrough, Valcona. Yay! Yeah, hey. Industrial output up by 20%. Fantastic. What did that unlock? Uh, we have primitive uh, predictive gunnery. The simple AI targeting system allows ships equipped with this uh, uh, technology to fire much more accurately. This would probably come in handy with the swarmers. We can put a module on our frigates and cruisers, which we don't know how to make yet. Um, to make it to where our accuracy is much better. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Or we can get advanced robotics. Um, this technology allows for autonomous AI-driven uh, robots to perform simple construction tasks in zero-G conditions and results in a 5% boost in ship construction efficiency. So this will dro drop the uh, construction cost of ships by 5%, which honestly would, would help. Uh, that would help build a military a little bit faster. But a predictive gunnery is probably what we're going to need um, to fight the swarmers, because this will give us better accuracy against those drones um, flying by us. So that might be what we get. How much would it cost for ultraviolet? 22 turns. Green lasers are powerful enough to handle what we need. And we can get the numbers. And you'll be 18 turns, and what do we need for battle computers? So battle computers are computer systems designed specifically to enhance command and control of squadron-sized groups of ships, increases number of ships that can be controlled in combat. So this allows you to bring up the 10 frigate-class ships in combat instead of 6. So, much better. It'll be 11. Oh yeah, and we can hyperlink communications. Um, en enables communication with ships traveling at warp and allows you to send them new movement orders in mid-transit. So if you go somewhere and you realize it's hostile, you can pull them back and go somewhere else when you get this research done. And we also got fi faster than light broadband. So faster than light broadband allows you to observe the combat of allied players. We will need that once we um, uh, get uh, allied with... Um, if we get allied with anime waifus, because then we can watch their, uh, watch their fights. See how they fight against the other ones. Other ships. It's only five turns. We should easily be able to knock that out. And then we can get a predictive gunnery. Yeah. Because getting anime waifus and other allies is going to be a big for us since we're kind of in the middle of the map. So we're going to be having a lot of engagements here mid to late game. This may be the egg we need to crack, Varkona. So we'll need to get that going. Okay. And we got all of this. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be good. We embark as ordered. It's gonna be fine. Everything will be fine. 
You heard him. Ooh. We must increase the fleet. And now the output on our planet, our main planet, is 25,680. Fantastic. And that puts us up to over 300,000 income. So this went up by about, uh, I think it was like 280,000. So it went up a good chunk. And we have almost 500,000 planetary income now because of that improvement. Massive improvement. And now also drastically help our uh, resource. Yeah, we only have like a small chunk of, uh, of the um, planetary development going on now. So we can definitely expand with that research. Fantastic. We will build as you command, Valkona. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. System update. Oh, oh, oh. Looking good. I want to focus more on research so we can get this stuff done quickly. All right, got one patrol done. How many patrols can we build at a time now? Still three? Okay. That's fine. Three at a time. Yes, Bacona. We'll have the ships out in no time. And... Um... You, I've also been building. Hey, you could finish everything up next turn, but we don't have the money yet. So build two. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. All right. Next turn. System oh. update. Don't we have people exploring? We do. I've just been ignoring them. Because that's the type of gamer I am. Size 7, 7,000 resources, 81,000 on cost. Uh, this would be nice if we had more than one colonizer. Because it's going to take a long time to get this place developed. It is a long flight away. Hmm. I guess next time I play this, I need to have like a scouting party, and then we have to have like a colonies a colonization party. But I also want to make sure that we do this experiment right. I like this planet. This even though it's like extremely far away from our empire, it's the only problem. If it ever gets attacked, it'll take forever to get there at our current technology level. All right, so no one's here. Fantastic. So we'll go ahead and keep that. You, I'm going to go ahead and separate you. Oh, you don't have enough fuel. Okay. It's fine. We'll go ahead and just scuttle it here. Your word is law, Vakona. This craft will be decommissioned. Wait, wait. No, no. Um, hang on. Do plan. Do not scuttle. Uh, clear. Your word is law, Vakona. Stop. This craft will be decommissioned. Do not, do not decommission. I forgot I brought a tanker in with this group. So we can just grow, have those ta two tankers uh, come together to over here. That will be fine. Go. Yep. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. How are we doing on it? Eh, maintenance is getting there, but that's also because we have a bunch of colony ships. I'm sure they require more maintenance. <laughs> System update. Oh, that's the one I've been looking at. I was like, where's my other patrol? Hmm. One moment. I must find my fleet. Um, Intel analysis is not what I wanted. Nope, that's diplomacy. Fleets. Uh, Marshall. Okay, that one's still going down. That's the new one. It's the defense fleet. Defense fleet. 
Wow, we have lots of defense leads. That's good to know. And you have one more turn. Okay. So everything is still going pretty good. Shipyards at your disposal, Bacona. Shipyards at your disposal, Bacona. System update. Okay. So you two, head back. Cartographer, chart the path. Now, let's see what happens when we colonize with three colonizers. The Empire has conquered. Another pearl in your crown, Farcona. If this works, this planet should start with like 750 uh, um, population. And a decent amount of terraforming. Now, what do we have down here? We have a volcano planet. Size 5, 6,000 resources, and 741 climate hazard. Do not want. Departing now, Varcona. So I'll have you move in that direction. Ooh! Anime waifus are down here. Okay. Cool. They're just hanging out. Hanging out and being waifus. Alright. And you, do you, you don't have any uh, defenses, I don't think. Uh, no, you do not. So you guys, can you make it up there? Nope. You need a tanker. Yes, Bacona. We'll have the ships out in no time. Of course we go over budget. Wouldn't have it any other way. System update. Our scientists have finally broken out of their ship. Alright, cool. So yeah, we start off with three on the infrastructure. And we have 580 population, and we start with 84 industrial output now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I wonder if it was like maybe 150 each? 150, 300, 450? Hmm. Very, very interesting. Anyways, our research is now done, and we now have FTL broadband. So next ones we can get, um, we can get FTL e economics, establishment of systems using a faster than light communication and travel to a facilitate efficient trade systems between friendly worlds. This technology allows an empire the ability to create trade routes and the star freighters to service them. Combined with fusion, this will allow us to build police ships to protect our sectors and maintain morale. So basically, this allows us to start trading between our other systems. Because right now, they just trade amongst themselves, and whatever they don't actually make, they throw in industry, and that's used to build ships and whatnot. So if we can do that, we can get subspace jammers, which um, will prevent enemy empires from absorbing our combat, because uh, enemies can do that if they want to. Um, I don't know how well the AI like, gathers information when they do that, but they can spy on your, fi on your fights, which is pretty cool. And then we can do the same thing. Subspace spy beams allows you to observe enemy combat in nearby star systems instead of just friendly combat. But now we have FTL broadband, so whenever uh, um, we ally with anime waifus, um, we will be able to see their battles, which is fantastic. Next, we need to get predictive gunnery, which will take 15 turns now with the uh, upgrade. So let's get that going. This may be the egg we need to crack, Barcona. That way we can design specific frigate class ships to fight off the swarmers. Then we could start building fleets to fight them off and capture the planets from them. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. Getting some technology done in this episode. Um oh yeah, we really wanted that one too. The planet is very far away though. Four, five, six, seven. But that one would be a really, really, really good planet to have. 7,000, that's size 7. That's going to develop into a really good planet. Oh. Um, and then, then we'd see. We need to get a fleet here, which I think we're currently working on that. The Armada moves as one. Here we go. So we have a patrol fleet here on our new system. We're going to build a patrol fleet up here. 
As soon as he gets all of his laser platforms done. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Okay. And we have almost 500,000 coming into the treasury now. We're looking pretty good. Still need to really grow the economy, but we are looking really good. And we have a scout down here. Um, anime waifu scout. Oh, we actually can't do anything anymore, so we gotta scuttle this fleet. Your word is law, Varkona. This craft will be decommissioned. This craft will be decommissioned. Burr, 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 burr. Um, and so far, I think we're doing good. Just double check everything. And uh, yep, you're doing great. You're doing really well. New one's doing good. Trying to get more uh, um, terraforming going on, more population. And you're doing pretty good as well. Nice. Cool. All right. We definitely have the budget to do more expanding. You heard him. We must increase the fleets. Update. Okay. Got a group going up there, group here. You could probably, let's see, did you max out? You did. You could probably start building some defenses. Yes, Vakona. We'll have the ships out in no time. All right. Now, uh, I do want to get this planet. That one right there actually isn't too bad either. It's just kind of far away. We need to get both of these planets, actually. That'll bring us up to nine. Oh, God, these ships are so expensive. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Let's see, how bad's your pollution down here? I mean, you're 400. You're up there, but you're not, like, super up there. That one is going to be so expensive here at the beginning. Hmm. I mean, it's still not going to be too bad. He, he'll bring us up to 200,000. I mean, that's about as much as our research. Hmm. Okay. Okay. System update. All right, so that's all good to go. Can't really build anything this round. And I don't think we have anything exploring right now. Hmm. About to get a couple tankers, which means we don't need to build tankers for this one. Whoa. Okay. Put this here. Oh, more swarms. Oh, joy. All of these swarms. They want to kill us. Stand your ground, boys. Run! Honestly, probably one of our 
One of our ways we could probably kill the swarmers is just have a bunch of tankers and just sacrifice them. We are targeting Daiko. We are targeting Gago. Daiko, destroy our down. We've got hostile fire coming. And he's dead. He is so totally dead. System update. All right. Let's put these two together. Bring these down to wherever that one guy was. This one. The armada moves as one. That's thirteen turns away. It is really worth it though. It has really high level of resources and it's a large planet. So yeah, I definitely want that in our fleet or in our armada. It's so far away from our center. We're gonna have to like capture these like slowly at a time and bring them into the center. Indeed. Okay, well with that being said, um, let's build more patrols. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Must always be increasing the fleet. System update. Mm-hmm. 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 Here we go. Shipyards at your disposal, Bakona. Alright. Let's keep on ending our turn. System update. How are we doing with these guys? You're doing great. Um, just need to keep getting a uh, population growing, which is growing at a decent rate. Already up to about 2,000. So this one will soon be under control. I totally forgot that you can put more than one colony ship or deploy more than one colony ship on a planet. That totally changes everything. Need a little bit more. And once we get this research done, we are going to design a anti-swarm fleet and start wiping out wiping out these swarms and taking the planets from them. And then basically building them up to be defensive. I think I think that is gonna be a big plan. System update. And then after we get that done, we might continue getting atmospheric adaption now that we have a decent amount of research going on. So we can terraform and grow our population quicker. And then after that, maybe get better of uh, uh, battle computers and then maybe get better uh, combat frigates? I don't know. I don't know what the next uh, um, idea is because right now we're not really at war with any of the players. I'm um, speaking of war. Anime waifus, do you like me yet? Can we be in an alliance? An alliance must be again when you have something to offer. Try again when your face isn't like a face. Okay, fine. Anime waifus don't like me that much. <sighs> it's what it is, I guess. Alright, um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end our turn. We're kinda stuck here until we find some sort of way to fight off the swarmers, so yeah, let's focus, like, very heavily on research. That way we can get this done quick. Quickly. Not just quick. Quickly. <laughs> System update. Whoa. Unknown track incoming, Marcona. Uh, we have swarmers off the port bow. Okay. Um... I don't know if 10 is going to be enough to hold them back, though. That's the problem. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Alright, build me a tanker. And a couple more patrols. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. You get this done ASAP. Please be four. Dang it! There we go. 
Need to get it done. System. Hey, updates. fantastic. We have made an early breakthrough, Vakona. You scream at the gods and the gods return. Or the gods that will, will grace you with what you need. Fantastic. So we now have predictive gunnery so we can have a better chance of hitting those swarmers when they're flying around. Fantastic. Um, and the next thing I think I wanted was battle computers. Yeah. That way we can design a command ship that will allow us to have more fighters on the screen, which will give us an even better chance of uh, fighting off the swarmers. Our laboratory is fully equipped and operational. All right, so let's design us an anti-swarmer um, ship, which basically is just going to have the fire control, uh, do, 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 the light frigate hull, and we only have fission drive at the moment. So, yeah. So we have, I think, eight small laser turrets. But with this module, we'll have a better chance of hitting fast-moving targets. Anti-swarmer yes, frigate. Vakona. Ship design ready for construction. Is now online, and <laughs> it costs twice as much to build the anti-swarmer frigate than our typical patrol frigate. Has less construction cost, just a lot more savings cost. Armor is about the same. Mass is a little lighter. Okay. The weapons is the weapon amount. It has one less weapon mo uh, module than the um other one. Okay. Time to build the anti-swarmer, uh, the bug sweeper. That's what I should have named it, the bug sweeper. <laughs> Start getting some of those online. As you command, Valcona. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. And you boys move up. We'll get everything going. And once this gets done, um, we'll be able to add it in so we can have more units and hopefully um, start wiping out the swarmers and getting some more of this territory around us under control. We will build as you command, Vakona. System update. This group is very far away, so it's going to take a while for them to get down there to get that planet. And we're basically getting to the point where we just need to capture planets. Our economy is doing pretty good. We don't actually have a whole lot of uh, money going to planetary development anymore because all of our plants are growing up. We're making over $600,000 a year now. Doing good, doing very good. And now you need to start focusing on infrastructure because you have enough population now. You're growing much faster. Okay, so that is definitely what you need to do whenever uh, um, plants are that polluted. Is give more colony ships, which is something I didn't, I forgot you could do. I always, I always think that you can only have one, but now you can have like ten of them colonize one planet at the same time. It'll give you ten times the infrastructure and ten times the amount of population on the planet. You just have to have the money and whatnot to keep them going. You guys, gonna make it in time? System update. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's going to be very close. The swarmers don't move that fast, but they are still pretty fast. Give me more anti-swarmer frigates. We will build as you command, Valcona. I want to get about 15, I would think. We should be able to get that fleet built by the time we get that research done. Uh, our fleet didn't quite make it in time. Okay, let's see how well we can fight these guys off. If we lose them, at least we'll get more resources on the planet. We have seen a similar configuration, Taiko, but never this size. All right, boys, let's get together. Form a defensive formation, boys. Do 
do do do do do do do Here they come. Oh, that's right. We're defending. So we don't really need to have um, a patrol. Okay. Lost one. We don't need to kill the queen, we just need to kill the patrol. We don't have the firepower to kill the queen yet. We are surviving. We got four minutes to actually finish this off. Nice. Okay, yeah, so once these guys get upgraded with their, uh, um, with their better targeting systems, we'll definitely be able to handle this. Okay, cool. At least we can fight them off now. We're making progress. I don't know how well we're going to be able to actually kill this because we have nothing but green lasers. We do have four minutes to kill it, though. Yes, Kandai. Coming about. We have survived the bug onslaught. A lot of us are very damaged, though. We just gotta stay away from the front gun, and we should be fine. Planetary missiles are doing some damage. But again, I don't know if we have the firepower to take it down. Kandai has spoken. Get this ship moving. Here we go. We are now in range. Everyone engage. Oh. Yes, Don't let the main gun see you, boys. The thing will kill you. It's a planetary defense missile. We're good, we're good. Get back over here, boys. Taking position, Kandai. There you go, there you go. Received, it's not flaming yet, so we haven't done a massive amount of damage to it. Do 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 do. I like facing up towards it. <laughs> Kill the swimmer queen. Got one and a half minutes. I just lost one of my destroyers because uh, some of the weapon um, reflected off of their ar off of the swarmer's armor and hit me. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. I thought that once it was redirected, it wouldn't actually hurt anything, but I was wrong. If it redirects to one of your ships, um, it does damage them. 
Good to know. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. We don't quite have the firepower yet to kill the queen, but we can survive against their attacks now, which is great. Now, the only problem about that is that they're going to deploy a nest here, which means in the next turn we have to fight the nest again um, to uh, clear them away from the planet. But we haven't been able to kill the queen yet. Um, hopefully with the better um, um, targeting tracking of the... Uh, um, of with the new technology, we'll be able to do a little bit better. But good. I am feeling pretty confident about that. And we need to continue building up our anti-swarmer fleet to try to push some more of these uh, swarmers away from our territory. And we did get a little bit of resources because we did lose about two of our ships. That is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and repair our fleet. A repair available, none. Hmm. Oh yeah, because this is a tiny planet. <laughs> This planet's still being developed. I actually totally forgot about that. I thought it was like a fully developed planet. Okay, cool. But we have a solution to the swarmers, which I am going to implement in the next episode. We're going to get a swarmer, uh, anti-swarmer fleet going and try to start knocking off out some of these uh, nests and get them um, under our control. Get the planets developed and get the planets defended. And then... Um, yeah, let's see where we go from here. We still have only no locations of two of the uh, um, two of the AI, the I think it's anime waifus and um, Luke Sky chickens, indeed, uh, which we don't know anything about them, so we're at war because we don't know their language or anything. And anime waifus, even though our reputation with them is increasing, it's still not up to the point to where we're allies, and it's also to the point, or also probably because we're not. Um, a large enough threat to where they feel like they need to ally with us because they might die or something. In fact, anime waifus um, may actually go to war with us because if you don't continue expanding or growing your military and showing that you are a presence to the galaxy, eventually the AI would be like, okay, you, you're you very weak and I want your territory, so let's go to war. Um, I had a playthrough a long time ago where I was like allied with an AI for like a hundred turns and they ended up like taking over a good chunk of the galaxy and then they looked over at me and they're like, hey, I like, hey, you're pretty cool, but I want your territory, so let's fight. And they went to war with me and wiped me out. So that can totally happen in this game, which I love. Like there's no like set stakes when something um, good or bad happens in the galaxy. You always have to be on guard, which I love about this game. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's going to do it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. If you want to see more of me, I have a series, or I have a second channel in the video description. Um, right now, we're playing MMO RPG Tycoon 2 and um, SimCity 3000. Um, I have modded SimCity 3000, so it's going to be a very fun experience. And I'm kind of jealous of that channel right now because it's performing very well, even though I haven't uploaded on that channel in like two years, one to two years. And I upload one video and it's like, hey, algorithm loves you. So YouTube is weird. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you also want to see my artwork, I have an Instagram in the video description as well. And I upload, uh, um, fan, uh, fiction, um, stories on Wattpad, which should also be in the video description as well. But anyways, until next time, guys, this is Captain Sobon signing out. Good work with the Kal-El frigate workers five and seven. I'm sure they'll forget to thank us later. You got that right. Worker 12, did you track down those suit beacons we picked up in Sector 43? Sorry, Command. We found the suits, but the poor dogs didn't have a chance to get their helmets on. We tagged them for the burial ships. 